hey guys welcome once more to our youtube channel so today we're going to be looking at a very quick limit problem which is suggested to us by one of our students go atem ajua bridget a student of opposite science in Balingua grammar school moliko boya so let's go now we're going to be looking at the problem in two different ways the first way we're going to be using a little bit of binomial expansion on this problem and the second way we're going to be using uh a little bit of lopita's rule okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to let this expression right here to be y all right and then we're going to perform a binomial expansion on y of course right here the easy thing to do is to recognize that a here is one b is all of this a over bn and then our n is just n right so you use the binomial expansion right a raised to the power n plus n into a raised to the power n minus one b raised to the power one over one factorial plus n into n minus 1 a raised to the power n minus 2 b squared all of our two factorial right so you're basically using that expansion formula and then you're substituting what your e is and your b is in this place in this case so it, this is the formula that i've substituted in uh, our respective um correspondence for a and b these are our a's one here we can basically just ignore what a is in that expression unless where it's necessary like here so we have e Right, and our e here is 1 plus n into b raised to the power 1 and our b is all of this thing like that that's why we're just raising it to the power 1 plus now n into n minus 1 b squared we're ignoring a y because our a is just 1 okay b squared all over 2 factorial and then we can keep going uh but then if you simplify this this n goes through this n so you're left with a over b here and then you get over here now there's an n squared term here this n squared goes first of all we will one of these n's and then we can distribute that n into or across this n minus one from below and that gives us of course one minus one over n okay so if we go ahead and then we say of course the limit as n tends to infinity of y would simply mean that we'll take limit as n tends to infinity of all of this expansion that means that uh, we're actually going to take limit as n tends to infinity of one plus this plus all of that now the interesting thing to notice here is that as n tends to infinity this one over n tends to zero and so this expression here simply tends to one so we're left we're left with what? one plus a over b over one factorial plus a over b or that squared over two factorial plus a over b or that cube over three factorial and you keep going and you notice that one plus a over b over one factorial plus a over b or that squared over two factorial plus a over b or that cube over three factorial is the expansion for e raised to the power e over b okay and so you notice that the limit as n tends to infinity of y is basically just e raised to the power e over b right and so that's the solution that's the solution right there uh so limit as n tends to infinity of one plus a over b n or that raised to the power n is basically just what e raised to the power e over b now if we have to prove this using method two again we're still going to let y to be all of this expression like this 1 plus a over b n or that raised to the power n so what that means is uh, we can take lean on both sides right so if we take lean on both sides we're going to get lean y n into lean this guy right so we now say all right what about limit as n tends to infinity on both sides so we're going to be taking li limit as n tends to infinity of lean y to be equal to limit as n tends to infinity of our right hand side right but now notice what i've done here i've sent this n right here i've sent it below all right so if i send it below it becomes one over n down below okay so when it comes back on once again we basically have our original expression uh now right here you notice that as n tends to infinity this is denominator zero our numerator is zero zero over zero is on in its indeterminate so we can apply lupita's rule right there to find that limit uh, so by Lupita's rule, limit as n tends to infinity of lean y will basically be equal to the limit as n tends to infinity of what? The derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. Now the derivative of the numerator, the numerator is a lean function. So how do I find the derivative of a lean function? Well, just differentiate the expression divided by the expression itself. Okay. So the derivative of this expression is basically a over bn squared, right? Remember that I differentiation with respect to n. So uh, we actually have this divided by the function itself. So what's the function? It is one plus a over b n. But hey, always remember that 
we have a negative there okay because if i differentiate one is zero if i differentiate uh, a over b n now the problem here is a over b is already a constant so i'm just differentiating one over n right and if i differentiate one over n i basically have negative one over n squared so when that multiplies with a over b i basically have a over b n squared and then there's this negative sign here so i'm just explaining where this negative comes from uh and then you're done with this numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator and when i differentiate this denominator i basically have the derivative of one over n which is basically what negative one over n squared so when i reciprocate and multiply i have negative or n squared over negative one right so there you go now this n squared here remember that it's multiplying with this a so this n squared can go away with this n squared right here so i'm left with a over b and the limit as n tends to infinity all of this denominator are like into one right this negative goes away with this negative so i'm basically left with a over b here okay so you notice that well if i'm left with a over b here then lean y equals a over b with this limit right so let's get anti-locks on both sides so we get anti-lock on both sides anti-natural lock on both sides we're actually going to get limit as n tends to infinity of y to be equals to e raised to the power a over b right and so there's a proof either ways it gives you the same proof all right hope you enjoyed it guys uh like subscribe to our channel Comment down in the comment section below if there's anything intriguing about what you've you learned or you saw today. Uh, share with us your thoughts on other ways of going about the problem if there are. And if you have more problems like this and you want to suggest them to us, feel free to suggest them down in the comment section below. Thank you so much. Stay curious.